everybody. Today's project is called Painting with Scissors and this was invented by a well-known painter named Henri Matisse. So you've probably heard the name Matisse. Um, he has an interesting story. Uh, he was, well let me tell you this first, He's, he hasn't been with us for a while but his art is still with us. He, if he were still alive today, he would be 152 years old. So, no, he didn't make it that far, <laughs> but he lived a pretty long time. Um, when he was young, his parents thought it might be wise for him to go to law school, and he did. He thought that would be interesting. But while he was in school studying to be a lawyer, he got sick and it was enough to keep him inside so he didn't go get to go out and do a lot for a while and while he was recuperating he was able to try painting to pass the time and what he found from doing all this painting was that he he was a lot more interested in art <laughs> than he was in becoming a lawyer so he started painting and um, he got really good at it um, for many years and when he was older when he was 72 he got sick again but this time he had to stay in a wheelchair most of the time so the last 14 years of his life he was not able to paint but what do you think happens when an artist can't paint? Does an artist stop being an artist? No. <laughs> so he started doing some cutouts and they are really cool. Um, they influenced a lot of other artists and definitely inspire me and I'll bet you they'll inspire you too. So I'm going to show you just a couple of his cutout pictures and then we will give it a try. Okay, I had to take a minute. I couldn't reach them. So here's one of them. Now these are very large. These are just pictures that I copied off of the computer. But I wanted you to be able to sort of see it. Do you think you could do that? What is that? That's a bunch of cut out pieces of paper glued onto another piece of paper. Yeah, sounds easy. It kind of is actually. It's really fun. And here's another one. This one's more well known. I've seen this on greeting cards even. This is a really popular one. These are all cutouts, colored paper glued to other sheets of paper. And here's our artist in his cutout days in his wheelchair. Look at all those pieces of paper around his feet. I think he looks like he's having a pretty good time. Right? Okay. So. Let me show you one that I did as a sample for one of my other videos that will be on the Books and Breakfast website so you can look it up. But if you do look it up, you'll probably need someone to help you read it because it goes kind of fast. But it's got some more pictures of Henri Matisse's work. But here's the one from that. Does that look difficult? Guess who did that one? I did that one. <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to need for this project is a pair of scissors and a glue stick, some colored paper, some white paper. If you have black paper, that would be wonderful because um, the cutouts show up a lot better on black paper. Now, if you don't have colored paper, see if you can find some scraps of white paper it doesn't matter if it's already been used it could be like the back of a copy of something um, and then all you need to do wait till you see my box of crayons this is how often I use crayons look at these poor things all you need to do is color some white paper with crayon or if you have markers all you need is something to put that color on the paper. If you have paint, you can paint your paper, let it dry, and then cut that out. Um, sometimes people have like oil pastels or things like that. 
I don't anymore, <laughs> but sometimes I have them around. So all you need to do is get some colored paper. If you can't find it, then you can make your colored paper. Sometimes you can find some colors in magazines, but it's better to have just like one color instead of like something that looks too busy with a lot of colors. So um, I'm going to pause this again and then we'll do a very, very quick demonstration because this is so easy. I don't have to spend a lot of time telling you how to do it. So as you can see, I've already patched in a little bit of orange. So the best way to get your colors, you can either take and color in your entire sheet of paper just one color, or sometimes I take one piece of scrap paper and maybe I'll put two or three colors on it. So then I got orange, blue, and what other color should I use here? I get this kind of lavender purple color, I use that. Oh, I'm starting to regret that I didn't use green, so maybe I'll use green. Uh, do I have more paper? Yes, I do. So I'll use this one and put some green on that one. I just like the way it shows up. And it doesn't have to be particularly neat, but the more white spots you can cover in, the better. It'll just look nicer because you'll get a more even color. Now, some people have construction paper around. I don't, so I have to do it this way. But colored paper, construction paper, usually comes in colors and then it's all ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to use black paper this time because it shows up better on my video. You can use a different color, you can use white color, or white color. Is white a color? There's a question. Okay, so I'm just going to start cutting out some random shapes. But I, I'm going to cut my colors apart first because I feel like I want them separate. I don't want colors running into other colors. This isn't collage. Collage is a little bit different. You've probably heard of that. We might do that another day. So these little squares might be fine as they are. Like I said, I'm going to do this really, really fast because it's easy and you can do your own and they'll be very cool. Um, so just take your scissors. You don't have to draw it first. Just take your scissors and I usually see how I'm running that back and forth with my hand. I usually like keep cutting and turning my paper. I kind of like to do it without even looking because then I get some really interesting shapes. And it's still wet so now I'm going to have green fingers. And I usually save my little pieces of paper because you can use them for other things. Okay, so there's there's my green blob there. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to cut the blue one a little more angular. Kind of can't decide what that looks like, a little bit like a boot or something. And 